This is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household, to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today we commemorate St. Peter Chrysologus, the, and we offer the Mass for Anne Burkhalter to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries and at first call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who made the Bishop St. Peter Chrysologus an outstanding preacher of your incarnate word, grant through his intercession that we may constantly ponder in our hearts the mysteries of your salvation and faithfully express them in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Woe to me, mother, that you gave me birth, a man of strife and contention through all the land. I neither borrow nor lend, yet all curse me. When I found your words, I devoured them. They became my joy and happiness of my life and my heart. Because I bore your name, O Lord, and God of hosts, I did not sit celebrating in the circle of merrymakers. Under the weight of your hand I sat alone, because you filled me with indignation. Why is my pain continuous, my wound incurable, refusing to be healed? You have indeed become for me a treacherous brook, whose waters do not abide. Thus the Lord answered me, if you repent, so that I restore you, in my presence you shall stand. If you bring forth the precious, Without the vial, you shall be my mouthpiece. Then it shall be they who turn to you, and you shall not turn to them. And I will make you toward this people a solid wall of brass. Though they fight against you, they shall not prevail. For I am with you to deliver and rescue you, says the Lord. I will free you from the hand of the wicked and rescue you from the grasp of the violent. The word of the Lord. God is my refuge on the day of distress. God is my refuge on the day of distress. Rescue me from my enemies, O oh my God. From my adversaries defend me. Rescue me from evildoers. From bloodthirsty men save me. God is my refuge on the day of distress. For behold, they lie in wait for my life. Mighty men come together against me. Not for any offense or sin of mine, O Lord. God is my refuge in my day of distress. O my strength, for you I watch. For you, O God, are my stronghold. As for my God, may his mercy go before me. May he show me the fall of my foes. God is my refuge in the day of distress. But I will sing of your strength and reveal at, and revel at dawn in your mercy. You have been my stronghold, my refuge in the day of distress. God is my refuge on the day of distress. Oh, my strength, your praise will I sing. For you, O God, are my stronghold, my merciful God. God is my refuge on the day of distress. Alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys the field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. St. Uh, Peter Chrysologus was a, 
uh, fifth century bishop of Ravenna, which was then the capital of the West. And he um, was renowned for his preaching. In fact, Chrysologus is not his last name, it's a nickname that they gave him. Golden Mouth, Golden Tongue. Uh, and he was a very great preacher, but he was also a short preacher. He didn't babble on and on and on and on. And I always think of this feast day of the advice that my the librarian of the seminary gave me, um, Brother Randall Reed. He said, three things to remember in a homily. Be brief, be sincere, be seated. And that advice is very effective for all of us. On this day where we celebrate one who used words to, to bring people to God, so to each of us preach with our own lives, in our own words, how we, the, the language we use. Uh, it says right here, if I bring forth precious without the vial, you shall be my mouthpiece, Jeremiah. To bring the precious without the vial. That's one of the ways that you and I are called to, to use our words for the upbuilding of the kingdom of God. Each of us is a preacher in our own place, in our own pulpit, whether it be the uh, uh, medical office, or whether it be our home, or the law office, or with our families. In each one of these instances, we're called to preach Jesus Christ with precious words, not vile. And to be brief, be sincere, be seated. And so I'll do just that. Let us pray. We pray for our Holy Father and for all those who preach the gospel that they will be sincere in their presentation of the good news that only comes from Jesus Christ. We pray. We pray for our nation and our world for peace and healing at every level. We pray. We pray for ourselves that, that we may be a homily of the Lord this day and we may present the gospel and how we live and move and speak. We pray. For the intentions which rest in the silence of our hearts. We pray. And for uh, Anne Bolton, her father, and all our beloved dead, may she live with God for all eternity. We pray. Lord, hear all these prayers and answer our needs because we bring them to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, O Lord, we pray, on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar, on the feast day of blessed St. Peter Chrysologus, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations, may give honor to your name through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Peter you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by his the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Anne, who you called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin. And safe from all distresses, we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a way of peace, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
body of Christ. Blessed is that servant whom the Lord finds awake when he comes and knocks at the gate. Let us pray. Renewed by the sacred mysteries, we humbly pray, O Lord, that following the example of blessed St. Peter, we may strive to profess what he believed and to practice what he taught through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in 